So guys, <coughs> here I've written <laughs> a few words, <laughs> just a few. <laughs> so you know, it's like a goodbye letter to these monsters, you know. And uh, since it's impossible to talk to them because you know, what, when you are a piece of shit like me, you know, guys, uh, uh, these people are programmed, you know, to listen all to only to people that have money. So it's useless to waste time here, guys. Useless these monsters and so what I've done I, th I said to myself well if I write all down uh, more or less they will be able at least George I will give this to George you know, and it continues you know? <laughs> and uh, here it says you know all the things that the uh, Marcel the parasite has done here and so I I say all the things that I've done you know, for them, for free, you know. You know, for example, I was... Well, first of all, the, the first thing which I say here is that uh, stone work which took me one day to build the first time. And then I uh, rebuilt each day, I would fix it, you know. Lots of time took me to do that thing there. Of course for free, guys. So they, they think that they uh, give me something for free and I did nothing, you know just took but it's not true and so I I uh, elencado come si dice elencado in inglese no? so I uh, ma made a, an, uh, a list you know of all the things that I've done for them you know? so for example I was I was uh, making a documentary which would take me a year uh, interviewing old people that have lived in this place guys because for me that was very important these people were uh, not free because they have their owner, uh, their boss, even then, the owner of the land. <coughs> but they could live in this land, but now they cannot live anymore. This, this, as you can see, that house over there is completely abandoned. As I've showed many uh, abandoned houses uh, when I, when I, in the in the, some of the videos when I first came here, I was showing all the abandoned buildings here. There, they were all families which used to live in this land and uh, and Lotzler was very creepy guys because after this abandonment started they have done also satanic um, uh, rituals here so it's a creepy place and uh, you know it's better to to get out of here you know? it's not uh, you know, it, it's beautiful you know there's nothing to say. It's it's beautiful place, but uh, you know, it's it's dead um, spiritual. It's dead, completely dead, guys. There's nothing. Here. And the people that come here, the people that uh, you know own this place, do not want to grow at all, at all. They like the world as it is. When you talk about nine lands of them, they say, "Who cares? Who cares?" As long as I have to eat, you know. And so, since they would not let me tell, even the priest didn't have time for me to, to listen in the phone. He just said, get out of here, without listening to, you know. He doesn't see, he doesn't know all this, you know. The people that came here, that I would, you know, guys, I would take photographs and print them with my own money, guys. Going down to Palazzuolo without no, nobody helping me. One f one picture costs one euro and thirty to, to print. I print a tens of uh, pictures, so at least at least uh, like sixty euros of, of uh, print photos, but even more in my opinion. And then uh, those pictures were also used digitally because uh, I would use them uh, for the Facebook page that I created for these monsters. That do not know how to publish. To uh, promote this place in internet, all for free, guys. I broke my neck doing this, those pictures also, and lost one lens by doing this. And uh, all for free, guys. I did not ask anything to them. I was printing a, a 3D model of these mountains here, guys. So the people that would come here, I would show them in 3D where we are, where you want to go, and so when you see it in 3D, it's all better than using a map maps guys in fact I, I i did this for them these monsters guys 
there are these maps here which took me lots of time to do guys this is open street map guys look let me show you this guys this is what i did for these monsters guys and you know, and i would use it with the people coming here here's i i wrote this open street map you know and so this is exactly how i have it on my phone but but i want it printed you know and so i said to george please george go to uh the printing thing you know shop and print me this thing so i took you know screenshots as you can see uh, nine screenshots and then uh stitched them together in photoshop and uh and i would show to people for me this is the most the, the most watchable and most um, uh, easy to understand uh, mountains the type of map that they have online open street map and so people for example would say to me can i have this map because it's really clear you know but even more clear would be if you have like this with all the roles and everything but in a 3d model that was my dream guys i wanted to, to build something like this in 3d uh, all for free and i was already contacting the the company that was uh, that they already did the 3d 3d model they were they all were uh, waiting for me the okay to, so that they could print it, you know. But since I would leave this place, guys, because there's death here only, I would not do that anymore. Other thing, so a documentary I was preparing, interviewing people and everything. I already had lots of hours of interview to people, and then at the end I would uh, categorize each part of the video of each interview and then tell a story okay but no guys the priest had no time to, to listen to me to all my stuff the problem was i screamed at them when they put their ass in my face guys but uh, apparently i should have kissed their their rich italian ass so that i, I would uh, be able to stay in this place i didn't do that i said to him get out of my face with your ass in my mouth you monster you know and apparently i should have kissed the ass instead okay so this made me lose this this beautiful people guys these monsters what a loss guys what a loss so let's move on guys it was it was an experience here in lots of i understood guys that uh, the people and i will show you a clear example right now guys a very clear example let me put the lights on here look with my phone my old style phone here we can see the sheeple celebrates uh, Christmas as you can see okay we can see the sheeple all watching at God you know okay we have the uh, Santa the Sun uh, worship you know uh, Christmas but the sheeple doesn't know so now I will make a, 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 just a slight change in this uh, composition okay so let me let me just quickly get something out of my pocket so that this picture will be much better uh, which will represent even better the uh, you know the uh, the reality okay so here it is here it is okay? let me put it like this so that it can stand better so we, ha we have a sheeple just you know all here 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 we have all the sheep, you know, watching and revering, not God, but money, guys. This is the truth, guys. Mario Draghi here, European Europe, New World Order, guys. Here's the sheep, all watching the money, revering the money. So this is the truth, guys, okay? Let me take this money, because <laughs> it's a huge piece, you know? So, uh, when you don't have money, guys, they don't care about 9-11 and everything, you know. They care what the priest or the, the powerful people think about 9-11, guys. You know, as long as they please them, they don't care. There's no God, no? So, why should they uh, look for the truth? The truth is what the powerful people say. So, the money. They revere the money, guys. You know, this monster have created a system where... You know, you can't do anything without those pieces of paper. <laughs> and also, they've told to you that uh, 
there's no need to be good nobody's watching you just you know revere who can give you this piece of paper otherwise you're dead and so we kill each other we are nasty to each other and make this place a hell and also we are also slaves in this ways perfect slaves because we would kiss the asses of the most powerful guys so sorry for the long run guys so and see you on the next one. You know, I, from time, from a moment to another, I expect these monsters to come like in uh, Ku Klux Klan uh, style here and uh, just kick me out of here, you know, because maybe I'm, I'm taking too long to, to get out of here, you know. Uh, the problem is I'm in the middle of mountains, guys, and I have some stuff here. Uh, a monitor, computer, and uh, Mac Mini, and stuff, you know, a reflex, a tripod, are very heavy stuff. So, I would have to wait when uh, somebody can give me a lift and help me to get out of here. But uh, if these people really are angry and want me out of here as soon as possible, you can expect anything from these monsters, guys. Anything. So, hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Hopefully. I don't know.